Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Chris, this is my shop partner Oots, and today I'm going to be building a photo album. I'm going to be using leather for the first time, I'm going to be doing some hand carving on it. Should be a really cool project, so let's get started. First, I'm going to take this oak board and cut it into two lengths. Then I'll take those boards over to the bandsaw and resaw them to several thin strips. Once I have all my thin strips, I'll glue them together to make the front and back cover of the photo album. This project was a spur of the moment idea. My wife and I have a bunch of pictures of our son and different fun times we've had together, but we don't have any photo albums to put them in. So as a last minute Christmas gift, I decided to make her one. It also gave me the opportunity to work with leather for the first time, which is a material that I've really wanted to start incorporating into my projects, and I really liked it. Gluing really thin strips like this can be very challenging, but I can use my workbench to accomplish this with ease. I just put down some wax paper and squeeze the pieces together between my vise and a planing stop that I made that fits in my dog holes. For the second panel, I decided to use a different part of my bench. Here I used a couple planing stops along with some wedges to accomplish my clamping pressure. Once my panels are dry, it's just a few passes with my number 5 jack plane and they're cleaned up from any glue squeeze out and bandsaw marks. Then on the table saw, I will cut my panels to the correct length and width. Now it's time to start working with the leather. I start by drawing a shape that I thought would look nice and then I cut it out with a utility knife. Next I'll take an edging tool and chamfer all the edges of the leather. This helps later on when I want to burnish the edges to give it a nice finished look. I'll include a link to all these leather tools down in the description, but you can also check out all my other favorite tools by visiting my tools page on my website. This tool is called a stitching groover, and it makes an even groove all the way around my piece. Then I'll take these stitching chisels and make a series of evenly spaced holes in the groove that I just made. This will be how I will stitch the leather to the wood later on. I place the leather on my wood cover and use an awl to mark out all the hole locations which I will drill out on my drill press. So I decided to experiment by adding a bunch of texture to the cover using a gouge. I used my bench to secure the piece and begin carving, and I gotta say I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think it's a pretty cool effect.
Once I am done carving, I'll add some General Finishes Armor Seal. Now I will drill two holes through the back cover that will line up with the holes in the photo album pages. Next, I will dye my leather. I use a medium brown dye that ended up much darker than I expected. Plus it ended up being model looking, which actually looks pretty cool. But I'd love to hear down in the comment section on how to get a nice, even, perfect color from all of you leather experts, so let me know. Then I'll take some beeswax and using a burnishing tool, burnish the leather edges. This is the reason I chamfered the edges earlier with that edging tool. It helps make a nice finished edge when burnishing. Now I will take some contact cement and apply it to the leather and wood and line up both pieces before I start stitching. I thought it would look really cool to stitch the leather to the wood, but I had no idea how long it was going to take. It took so long, but I'm really glad I did because I love the look of that stitched leather. I used a technique called saddle stitching. It's when you have a needle on both ends of the thread and you go back and forth all the way around. You can see that I have a flap of leather hanging over the edge. Well that is because I'm going to use that leather as the hinge for the cover. I punch a couple holes that will line up with the pages and then contact cement a matching piece of wood on top of the leather flap for strength. Then I'll clamp them until it dries. I decided to try to use a leather strip to bind the photo album together. I made the strip slightly wider than the holes to keep it bound tight once assembled. It's hard to explain what I did here exactly, but I just came up with a way to weave the leather through everything and keep it nice and tight and still neat looking. It also allows me to take it apart later on if I want to add more pages. I really enjoyed this build and experimenting with some new materials and techniques and I really hope you enjoyed the project and video too. And if you did and haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And also if you hit the bell icon, you'll get notified when I post any new videos. And if you want to help support the channel more and get access to some extra behind the scenes stuff and really cool rewards, check out my Patreon page. There's a link down in the description. And as always, thanks so much for watching and all your support. Take care.